thinking? Something big is coming, Wambi. And... Hey, Egibo. After we get Lizbert, are you two gonna come back to town? Oh, I don't know. I'm starting to like sleeping on freezing cold rocks. But I'm sure Liz misses our bed. Well, it'll be ready for ya. I've been keeping your hut clean for whenever you got back. <laughs> You're such a weird guy, Philbo. Mountain, still tall. Oh, do you need a break? Uh, how about water? Let me check your vitals. No, no, I'm okay. Besides, we're, we're almost there, right? Right, but in the future, you could stand to do some exercise or, or just hang out with Chandlo. open, Egabel. Turns out she wrote the order backwards. I guess even the great Elizabeth Megafig can still make mistakes. Well, <laughs> poor buddy's nerfigged, right? <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. We're coming, Liz. One, two, three! with you? I don't know how we all got separated. Well, you found me pretty quick. I'm sure she's not far. Yuck! What is this stuff? Ugh, it's slimy and cold and I, uh, I, uh, I kind of want to eat it. Uh, if Lizbert is really down here, we better find her fast. them through. much catching up to do. I... I wish I could, but we're out of time. You have to get out of here. You have to gather up the others and get off the island. O okay, then we can talk on the way back. No, Philbo. I can't go with you like this. I'm so sorry. Are you seriously trying to interview me right now? I regret inviting you. You came here to interview Elizabeth Megafig? Fine. Keep it quick. This? This is the island's true form. It's bug snacks all the way down. That's kind of amazing. 
It's disgusting. Once you understand what bug snacks really are. They're parasites. They get inside you and they change you. Your body and your mind. They make you want them. And before you know it, you become them. It's not that simple. They're insidious. Patient. You'll show them a weakness, and they'll exploit it. What you see here, this is what's left of everybody who came before us. Of every living thing that wasn't bug snacks. They always win. After I saved Egabel, I fell into this place. Before I knew what was happening, I was swarmed. Bug snacks were crawling down my throat. They tried to erase me, to make me into them. That's horrible. I almost lost myself, but somehow I pushed back. I made them into me. That's right. I'm sorry if I scared you. I just wanted to make everyone leave this awful place. But I can't make Bugsnecks talk. <sighs> no. The Bugsnecks are in a frenzy. They have been since we came here. They're so ravenous that they're shaking the ground apart. I'm the only thing keeping this island together right now. But it's like fighting a tsunami with a bucket. There, you have your answers. I hope you write a story worth telling. I'm sorry that I put you through so much to get it. I can't hold them back for much longer. Please, go and warn the others. Wait, I, I have one more question. If you're really not coming back, then... Then... What am I supposed to do without you? What do you mean? You've been doing just fine without me. It's only a matter of time before I screw up and ruin everything. I I'm not good at stuff, and everybody hates me. But you, they love you, Lisbert. <laughs> they love the idea of me. I'm sorry I put so much on your shoulders, Bilbo. But you, you are the one who can bring them together. Me? Well, I'm the one who made it all fall apart. What are you saying? I led you to this terrible island. I filled your bodies with parasites. I ignored all the warning signs. I didn't understand what any of you really needed. So now I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes. I'll keep the bug snacks at bay long enough for everyone to escape. Liz, no, 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 there has to be some other way. We can help you. No. I should be the only one to suffer the consequences of my actions. Nobody else needs to get hurt because of me. Uh, where have I heard that before? Acabil, you shouldn't be here. You need to get away. Get up. Get up. Come on. Let's go. Get up. Hey! Uh, ow! Acabil, stop it. No, you stop it. I didn't sleep in an igloo for months just so you could play martyr. We're getting out of here together. I... I can't. My control is already slipping. If I step outside this cave, my connection to the bug's necks will break and the island will collapse before I make it another step. Huh. All right. Then I'll get in there with you. Move over. Move over? It's not a car, Bill. See? That wasn't so hard, right? It worked! Egabel, you beautiful genius! <laughs> Wait, how did you lose your eye? Oh, I didn't. I just got conjunctivitis. At least the eye patch looks cool, right? Hmm. It does make you look a bit... dangerous. So, um, how long before the island explodes? Oh, <clears throat> I don't know. It could be any moment. But I'm sure Liz and I can keep it together, at least until you get everybody out of here. What? 
So now I'm supposed to leave both of you behind? Hey, don't worry about us. We've been through worse than this, right? We both survived so much by ourselves. Imagine what we can do when we're together. Okay, good luck, and I'll see you again someday. It's time to get moving. Get back to Snacksburg! You're going to have to take a bit of a shortcut. Hold on. Snacksburg as fast as we can. We can't let the others eat any more bug snacks. If they transform all the way, then 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 who knows what'll happen? We can resist until we're all out of here. Grump's name have you two been? I'll explain later. The bug snacks are coming to wipe us out. We gotta get off this island now! I suspected as much. Luckily, the balloon is almost ready to take flight. Great! But where is everybody? They're holding off the swarm as best they can. I've supplied them with all my most dangerous inventions. That'll only buy us time. Snort Dog! They're coming down from the mountain! I need you here, now! Hold steady, my love. I'm on my way. Oh, but somebody needs to finish fueling the balloon. Don't worry, Snorpy. Leave the balloon to me. Go and help Chandlo. Splendid. As for you, you may need my snack chop. It's much like the snack trap if it were set to, uh, puree. Good luck. Okay, uh, <laughs> never mind. You, buddy, you better put that trap to good use. be fine for now, buddy. Go and help the others. I'll have the balloon ready by the time you get back. <laughs> Stay still, you pugnacious pests! Gah, why did Snorberton make this so cumbersome? One has foreseen. The bug snacks will be five feet to the right of where you're aiming. I'm a scientist, not an exterminator. You do it if you're so inclined. One is strictly a pacifist. Also, one is pushing 70. Fair enough. Ah, but here comes someone with a healthy capacity for violence. Take this device and clear a path for us, please. Yum, yum, yum.
time for cowardice. Assist us. That's enough mortal danger for one day. Let's abscond while the bug snacks have subsided. You don't have to tell me twice. You, however, must continue. The others still need your help. <laughs> Come on, Snacks! Let's see what you got! Uh, Chum, over here! I've just finished another device, the Trip Drone. With this, we can hold off the Bug Snacks and escape before Chandler collapses. Don't worry, Snort Dog. I could do this all day! <sighs> oh, you beautiful fool! I'll pilot the drone. You aim the shot. Fortunately, we're short on connective surfaces. How about this? Helly oop! Uh, that'll do. Relocating. Don't trip. <laughs> Dog, I'm gonna give you the hug of your life. Don't celebrate too soon. We're not safe until we're off this horrid rock. To the balloon. Uh, you see anything yet? All this smoke is making my eyes water. Don't worry. There's one thing I'm good at. It's looking for trouble. <laughs> Speaking of, snacks at three o'clock. You got it! Fire in the hole! Whoa, that toast! Who knew snack water was so flammable, huh? It's almost a shame to waste it like this. Oh, bestie! You're just in time for the end of the world. But now that you're here, if you take over the lunch pad, Cromdo can pick up the speed on those barrels. Can't you, Cromdo? Eh, yeah, sure thing, Beth. Huh? <laughs> mm. 
runaway snacks never come back. Oh. <coughs> I don't get it. Why are the little ones attacking us? They love me. They're like a mob of adoring fans, darling. They love you so much that they, they each want a piece of you. Even so, I can't bring myself to, to hurt them. So why'd Snorpy have to go and weaponize Sprout? Bramble, I didn't know you were so punk rock. I'm not a punk or a rock. I, I can't do this. Well, I know who can. Is it over? Please say it's over. My heart can't take much more of this. No time for an encore, Gramble, dear. We better boogie. Come on now! Get! Get! Get your varmints! It's no use, Wambi. Must have learned a few things since the Stone Age. Well, what do you want me to do? I won't let them take my garden. There's hardly any garden left. There's enough. I still got my special sauce, fresh grown. Oh, good thinking. What? That's not what I meant. Oh, I didn't see you there. Would you mind helping out? Just a matter of life and death is all. That's about as big a break as we're gonna get. Come on, Wamby. It's now or never. Oh, I gave it my best. All right, Triffy. Let's go home. <laughs> Okay, we're all here. Though I think the balloon needs another minute. <laughs> uh, never mind. We gotta get on board now. <laughs> Come on, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Egg. Well, there goes another farm. Serves me right for building it on top of an island-sized pest. 
I guess there's no shame in starting fresh. I'll find a place with rich soil, and even richer history, where me and Triffy can settle down. I was so close to giving up back there. I get so caught up dwelling on the way lives end. But that's not the only thing that matters, yeah? Wambus and I, we're gonna start the rest of our lives today. It's funny. I spent all my time chasing one muse. And as soon as I put it out of my mind, another strikes me. As we floated down from the sky, watching our home crumble to dust, a little song sprung into my head. I call it an ode to Gramble. I thought I'd be real sad when I left all my little ones behind, but I feel okay. I don't know, maybe it helps they tried to murder me, but also, I got folks who love me back for real. Like, well, Wiggle. Oh, hey, bestie. I think I need a vacay from this vacay. Going home doesn't seem so bad anymore. My old life, my old friends, they're all gone, but like, now I know that I can make new friends. And this time, I won't ruin it for myself. Okay, I know when I'm beat. I draw the line at island full of monsters. <laughs> All I wanted to do was quit my dead-end job and do what makes me happy. I don't need some big bug snack scam to do that. Hey, maybe I'll get started in the music business. While I'd regret that all my research was destroyed, I have come away with a revelation. I cannot improve Grumpus Kind if I refuse to understand it. It may be a long and frankly annoying endeavor, but it is one worth pursuing. I've never felt so wrong being right. I wish I hadn't wasted so much time telling riddles. I don't need to be all powerful to give good advice. I just need to be me, and those who listen, will listen. Look at that mess. It seems my enemies aren't so all-powerful after all. But still, there were many close calls, and Chandler was always there for me. I think, perhaps, I could share everything with him. Bro, that was intense! There's no way I ever would have made it out of there by myself. Good thing Snorpy had my back. When did he get so strong? Maybe I hit my personal limit. But that doesn't matter. There's no limit to what we can do together. Hey, buddy. Are you ready to go? All right, everybody. We should head out. I hate leaving it like this. Liz and Egg, what if they're still out there? Yeah, if anybody can survive in that terrible place, it's them. I know, I can't go wallowing in regret now. We're barely even out of the woods. It's gonna take a while for the bug snacks to wear off on us. I can't go back home like this, so is it all right if I stay with you for a while? I can help you with your story. Maybe figure out which parts to tell, or... Great. Let's go. I have to admit, you got guts. Tracking down Elizabeth inside an erupting volcano? It's compelling, dramatic, sensational. I'd call it fiction if you didn't have this Philippus Yahoo along as a witness. <laughs> it's Philbo, actually. Point is, you're a regular Grumpter S. Thompson. It's just too bad those bug snacks weren't real, huh? <laughs> yeah, too bad. <laughs> I, I, I hate to think that we went through all that for nothing, so... Um, 
I hope you can spread the truth about Snacktooth before anybody else gets hurt. Don't worry. GNN specializes in painful truths. And speaking of, you're fired. This story's a page-turner and all, but you lost your job the second you walked out that door. Oh, please. It's not like I expected you to come back. Also, you're legally dead. Might want to clear that up soon. Well, that wasn't ideal, but you've had worse days, huh, buddy? So, I hear the elections are coming up, and, uh... I was thinking of running for mayor. I could use a helping paw. How about it? No, I sent them away. It would be hard to make them disappear at this point. Do they suspect anything? Hmm, hard to say. Could be they're idiots. Could be they know the truth and they're keeping it quiet. Very well. We will have to keep our eye on them. To quid edas. Omne vivamex bug snacks. Strabble! 